Today, we're taking a closer look at Meghan Markle's secret messages and subtle nods to the British monarchy during her and Prince Harry's recent trip to Nigeria. Let's dive in and explore the details. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may no longer be working royals, but their trip to Nigeria had all the markings of a traditional royal engagement. Meghan's outfit for their first appearance at a school supported by the Archwell Foundation sent gentle nods to the monarchy, from her chic fashion to her sentimental jewelry pieces. Her peach maxi dress from Heidi Merrick, first released in 2018, the year of her royal wedding to Harry, shares the same name as the royal family's official title, the House of Windsor. The couple's 72-hour visit was primarily to promote Harry's Invictus Games, but many observers noted its similarity to a traditional royal tour. Judy James, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, seemed to have fallen back into the nonverbal habits and status signals of the earliest days of Meghan's life as a royal. Body language expert Judy James notes that the couple's interactions suggest Harry is taking the lead, but they may be adopting a new format of taking turns to wear the more dominant or supportive signals. Megan told the children, I see myself in all of you, and encouraged them to just be honest with each other about mental health. Megan Markle's secret messages and subtle nods to the British monarchy during her and Prince Harry's trip to Nigeria are a fascinating topic. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to explore next, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more royal news and updates.